Hi kids, how are you doing? Ari, it's almost time for church. Oh, I need to do my hair. Isa, it's almost time for church. Today, we are talking about promise. Have you ever been promised something, but you weren't sure it would happen? I don't know, think about an example. Think, think, think. How can we know more about God's promise? Well, I need a Bible. In the book Genesis 15 verse 6, it says this, Abraham believed the Lord. The Lord was pleased with Abraham because he believed. So Abraham's faith made him right with the Lord. Abraham believed God though he had plenty of reasons to doubt. Do you sometimes find it hard to believe God? Well, in today's story, we're going to talk about it. And the story goes like this. Hey, thank you again for tuning in to my vlog. So where are you from? Comment down below where you're from. Are any of you from, hmm, let me guess a place. Are any of you from NYC? That's where I am. I am in New York City. Do you have any special talents? One thing I love about all of my friends is that I get to learn about all the wonderful things that they can do. Some can dance really well, others can sing, some can paint. Oh sweet, look here. We have a comment from Laura. Laura says that she can sing, but she gets nervous to sing in front of people. Laura, I totally understand. I love to paint, but I'm not nearly as good as my friend Scarlett. I have older friends too. Friends that go to big kid school. That'll be me someday. I have a friend named Allie. Allie Callie, Allie Callie. I know, let me call her. Hey my friend, I'm just vlogging and I wanted to show my new friends who you were and what cool stuff you do. Hey Callie. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, new friend. So guys, this is my friend Allie. Allie has got to be the Aww, best singer in the sweet. world. I'm not the best, but I do practice a lot, so I got better. I started when I was like, well, your age. Can you sing something for us? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Uh, Allie, are you there? Yes, I am. I was just blown away by your singing. Do you ever get nervous to sing? Nervous? Of course, all the time. But what do you do? I want to be a dancer when I grow up. But I get so nervous before I dance. Well, every single time I pray to God and I remember a Bible story that always helps me whenever I feel nervous. It's time for our Bible story. A long time ago, there was a man named Abram. God told Abram to leave his country, his family, and to go to another land. He must have been scared. I'm pretty sure he was. It was something new and different and he had to leave all that he knew behind. However, God spoke to Abram and told him to not be afraid because God will protect him and give him good things. Now that sounds good. It sure does. Among all of the good things God promised him, there was one thing Abram wanted most. What was that? 
Abram and his wife didn't have any children. So God made him a special promise. Let me guess, a kid? A kid, not just a kid. God took Abram outside and told him to look up at the stars. In the sky? Yes, in the sky. God promised him that his family will be as many as the stars in the sky. That's a lot of kids. A whole lot. So God made him a very special promise. I really like the part of the story where God tells Abram not to be afraid. When I'm afraid and nervous, which is pretty much often, I remember that promise God made. It doesn't matter what you're doing. God's promises are for now and for later. So it doesn't matter if you are six years old like you are or 26 like I am. God gives us promises that are as true today as they were to Abram and as they will be in the future. Thanks, Sally. So friends, did you hear that? When God gives a promise, they are good for forever. Just like God's promise to Abram. So when the Bible says that God is with me and that God will help me, I can trust those promises. And you can too. I know. Mind-blowing, right? Maybe I'll go and practice my dance now. Do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe. Catch you next time. Peace. So kids, what did God promise to Abraham? Maybe this is something that you can talk about at the dining table when you have dinner. Tonight, we do adult run. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, kids. See you next time. Bye. If you don't get off that Xbox, I will make sure you never play it again. Listen, if you don't settle down and go to bed, you can sleep outside tonight. Little girls who aren't grateful don't get any presents at Christmas. Any of these clothes that are still on the floor in 10 minutes are going to be given to someone who really needs them. You come home late one more time, you won't have a car. Stop fighting or I'm turning this car around right now. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for all those brave people who have sent their photos for the Dad's Fashion competitions for our Father's Day today. Now it is time to reveal the top three people. On the third place is Pastor Simon with his Hawaiian shirt. This is the picture of Simon in the all-weather 
holiday Hawaiian shirt. And how about how about the hat? The hat just add to the touch. Thank you for the boys and girls uh, from the Pratt's household. That's wonderful. On the second place is Howard. Congratulations, Howard. Howard and his granddaughter and look at that hat maybe that's not even a hat that's a piece of art look at that howard just chilling relaxing just rocking the piece of art that we might one day call a hat as well all right so that's place number three and number two and how about a bit of a drum roll for the first place and the first place goes to david david look at this photo, oh, the socks, and how about the white short above the knee, and look at him, he just, the turtleneck, long sleeve, the color, he just rocking it with that smile too. So congratulations David, wonderful, thank you for rocking the dad's fashion, and happy Father's Day to all of you, all fatherhood figure. Thank you so much for loving your children. God bless you all. Bye-bye.